What's up guys? This is a video that nobody should have to make, but I guess I gotta make it. Um if you're watching Tough Love Dating, it's your boy Rico Suave, also known as Dirty Dick, TOJ, this, that, and the other. Hit the like button, uh, and subscribe and hit the alert bell. Okay, so the thumbnail, if you've seen it, is from my friend Michelle. I'm not gonna say her last name. But she uh shot me a message and was like, Look here, bro, you I see your videos. I know, you know, I I'm not a subscriber, but I definitely watch the videos just to, you know, hear what you gotta say about women, stuff like that. And she said, Do a video about dick pics. And I was like, you know what? She showed she she her Facebook post to date is what inspired me to do the video because she made a um a vid a, a Facebook post after she, you know, we talked. And she said she can make a coffee book based on how many naked pictures she get from dudes in her inbox and fellas let me say something if you're watching this channel i'm more than positive none of y'all is doing this especially if you're a subscriber of mine um but dude let me tell you something that that will literally get your ass arrested fired blocked banned all of that shit women at this point especially the feminists are pushing to make unsolicited dick pics sexual assault and from and for, for the most part, very carefully for you young you young dudes out there. I tell my son all the time, he got this stupid ass attitude of sending girls pictures, you know, of his six pack and all that dumb shit. And I say, Carlino, you know what I'm saying? You at a, at a certain age, you're 17 years old, but your pictures might end up on the phone of one of them little stupid ass teeny boppers that's like 16 years old or underage, and that could be considered like a, a kitty porn charge or what have you. So. I'm just telling y'all, bro. If you ain't got no ism, you ain't got no game. Go find you a player somewhere and talk to him because there's more than one way to skin a cat. You know what I'm saying? Now there's more fish in the sea. All the other little cliches I can throw at you, but unsolicited naked pictures will get your stupid ass arrested. And more importantly, even if the girl don't have what it take to go to court or go to you know to the police or something to that effect. She can just actually screenshot your name. You know what I'm saying? Now, or screenshot the entire image and put you on blast. And before you know it, you'll be the next viral sensation on Instagram or Facebook or what have you. You know what I'm saying? Now, so don't send nobody no unsolicited dick pics. Um, and just, just, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, you know, none of you guys personally, but I'm telling you, I've never had to do it. Now, sending pictures to your girlfriend, that's kind of like, you know, that, that's up in the air. But for the most part, if y'all break up, she can always get revenge on you and say, well, yeah, he sent me this picture, you know, whatever. But at the end of the day, as long as you saving the text messages and the correspondence between you and her, when you sent the picture, you might be safe. Because if you send a dick pic to your, your girl and she's like, oh, my God, I can't wait to get some of that dick tonight, then you're safe. But if you, she, but if you, if you save that, save, you know, the correspondence in your phone, then you safe, you know, in, in court later on down the line if she try to get you arrested, you know, for um, uh, sexual harassment or some dumb shit like that. But, bruh, no unsolicited messages. Messages like, you know, good morning, good afternoon, th that's all fine and well. But this thir the thirst trapping, sending dick pics will never impress a woman. I, I have not met one dude, I'm friends with all guys, like almost no women. None of my male friends yet, me, Carl, Reggie, none of us have ever... You know, and, and a couple of like random dudes, they like like they like you know the friend of a friend, like mutual guys who might be in a tattoo shop or the barber shop at the time we're talking. None of those dudes have ever told me they landed some ass from an unsolicited dick pic or whatever. And for the most part, you don't want women judging the size of your package anyway, because they're gonna, they gonna go to the beauty salon and show the shit around. In fact, Michelle showed me a picture today of on Facebook. She she put it in the comment section, but she. With the uh, editing software, you know, blur the dude's face out and blur some other stuff out. But she goes, yeah, bro, this is real. This is what I got sent today. So I know that, you know, these are real people. And they're all, like, middle-aged white dudes. And I'm telling you, bro, these dudes are horny as fuck. I did not realize the amount of desperate, simp-ass, beta male, blue pill dudes out there on some white belt shit. These are guys not even white belts. These niggas not even in the dojo getting this game. These dudes are just literally, like, at their wits end. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna send this bitch a dick pic and see what she think. You know what I'm saying? That's, bruh. 
that's almost the same as dudes yelling out of a car window saying, Woo, you baby, you fucking hot piece of ass, woo. I've never seen a girl, like, you know, flag a car down and say, Baby, oh my God, stop. I like that. I got to get some of that game. It never it never happens, bro. Cat calling that girls on the street don't work. Sending, un, un, you know, solicited dick pics don't work. Only cold approaches. That's it. I'm sorry. Hit like, share, and subscribe. I look forward to hearing you guys' uh, feedback in that comment section. I'm gone.